As a maker, I enjoy the process of making. Minsan nga, I make products just because I want to make them. So, so alam mo yun, I enjoy creating. Important na gumagawa pa rin ako. Hi, I'm Lala. I'm the founder of Simoy ng Haraya. So, I do home and personal scents. It started as a passion project. Um, I was working in a fast-paced industry. I was in advertising, so I was looking for an outlet outside of my day job. Uh, it was really uh, an on-the-side thing. I did that for parang almost 10 years while I was working. And then eventually, I left my day job and then I'm now doing this full-time. Yung work ko kasi, it was, it was a fast-paced work. Medyo stressful. So I needed this outlet. Kahit na may times na kulang sa oras, like I do a lot of overtime work. I find time to do this on the side for my sanity. For some reason, I was able to do it together na hindi naman stressful. Even though I spend hours on this business, I needed that. It helped me actually go through my work. I grew up liking perfumes because I my dad was an OFW. So parang growing up kami ng mga kapatid ko, um, we like using perfumes. And then I have a lot of relatives abroad and yun yung madaling ipasalubong, di ba? So I grew up using a lot of perfumes. When I started working, it's then I realized that Mahal pala ang bottle of perfume, di ba? If you want a really good one, you have to spend like 3,000 pesos for it. Kasi I'm a very entrepreneurial person. Like grade 1 pa lang ako, nagbebenta na ako ng pwedeng ibenta, ganung level. When I found out about perfume making, I, I knew then na I wanted a brand. Somebody gave me a homemade perfume and then sabi niya, oh, try mo to homemade perfume. Tapos parang it was a mind-opening thing for me na, ha? Perfume homemade, so possible pa rin. So what I did was I started researching and then I enrolled in classes here and abroad. So perfume talaga. And then once you start kasi a bath and body product, you'll try to do everything. So from perfume, I jumped into soap making and then aromatherapy. And then after that, home scents. So re-diffusers. <music> Filipino, capturing the essence of Filipino culture, traditions, and lifestyle. So we stuck to that. So parang I asked this copywriter friend na sabi ko, I want, to, I want to make a perfume brand and can you give me name studies of a Filipino brand name? I wanted three words para hindi madaling gayahin. So alam ko na may specs na ako. Meron na akong ano, may, may specs na yung gusto kong brand. And then gusto ko in Tagalog, in Filipino. And then Simoy ng Haraya was one of the name studies that he suggested. And then yun na yung ginamit namin. This friend who made the name study for the Simoy ng Haraya, um, I asked him to write Tanaga. Tanaga is a Filipino haiku. So if you look at the back of our perfume, there's a Tanaga for it. So kunwari, yakap, meron siyang Tanaga. Tapos tiwala, dalisay. So now I think I have more than 10 cents. At hanggat may Filipino term na pwedeng gamitin, I think mga nganak pa yan. <laughs> I started with the names and then when you go into perfumery, there are different scent notes naman talaga. Like you'd go floral, fruity, woody, gourmand or foodie, foodie scents. So from there, I match the, the scent notes to the name. Yes, definitely, trial and error. And also like specific to candles kasi aside from the scent itself, you have to test if it will work during hot throw. Cold throw is when you smell it na hindi nakailaw and then hot throw naman is when you light it up and then you smell it. You have to test the cold throw, you have to test the hot throw. I had some scents before na sobrang okay during cold but then once lit, hindi mo na masyadong maamoy. It's a series of experimentation and then I have to test pa the longevity ng scent. Sometimes halfway, pwedeng mawala. We need to test it hanggang ilalim, hanggang maubos. Not just the scent itself, we have to test them in specific bottles. Because sometimes they will work in big bottles. Pero pag small bottle na 
hindi na masyadong maamoy kasi konti lang yung space. Minsan, you can't really dictate eh, kasi di ba iba. Can you make it smaller? But what they don't realize is if you make it smaller, then the centro will be less. We have to test the wick. The wick size, the wick types, may iba-ibang wick, may iba-ibang number of strands, um, 35, 45 strands, and then cotton wick ba, wooden wick ba, daming options. And then you have to test all those. We were part of 10A Alabama Arts and Crafts Fair. And then Maan was also my office mate in advertising. I remember that moment when they approached me, Maan approached me and told me nala, if we will come up with a store with crafters there, would you be willing to sell your products? Wala nang tanong-tanong, of course, game. So yun, so I was part of the first 33 crafters in Common Room. Since day one, I was part of Common Room and still going strong in Common Room. We're still a small company. We're a micro-business enterprise. And ako mismo yung sumasagot ng mga online. What I find nakakakilig about it is when they receive the product, they give feedback and then they show appreciation. Like, like kunwari, the last message I got last night was she was so happy when she got the products and, and sabi niya, please keep on thriving. Alam mo yung parang, parang they're very concerned na, na please don't stop making this scent. Pag ganun, parang nakakatawa kasi alam mo na first hand, hindi siya produkto lang. Parang they have an affinity with your brand and concerned sila. So for me, it's a business. I need to sell because, you know, so that I can buy food, <laughs> can pay my bills. Pero iba pa rin yung dating na, na alam mo na you have that relationship or th your consumers would show their appreciation. During the lockdown, March 15, nag-lockdown din yung HQ that we prepared that time in the South, in Paranaque. So we had to close it. We had to shut it down. Kasi during that time, it was very challenging for us. I took that time to regroup. I was invited by DTI. So they had this program called Kapatid Mentor Me program. So it's a mentorship program wherein you, you will be partnered with a mentor in the same industry. My background is advertising and marketing. So I know that bit. But the other stuff like supply chain, production, accounting. I grabbed it. It was for free. Parang everything you needed to know if you will go into a business. There were like 42 entrepreneurs. So parang we also learned from each other. If I have a problem or if I have an issue, I'd go to them and then, hey, have you encountered this? And then sila din, we would ask one another, ganon. So, okay siya, it worked. Siguro mga after three months of applying what I've learned, it's when the business started to grow. It ended na it was a good year for us pala, 2020. 2021, it was when we got this, ano, we got this HQ. Tapos, now it's 2022. <laughs> People go to bazaars, smell your products, and then eventually, if they want, they can, you know, repeat purchase. They buy online. But they won't buy online for the first time without smelling your product. Scent is very sensorial. <laughs> so sensorial meaning, syempre, you have to smell, actually smell the product. And then pandemic happened, so the challenge now is for us to, how to then make them smell. So during the pandemic, we launched our small bottles, so 5 ml, so with the intention of really making people buy so that they can try it before they commit to a bigger size. Another way is through communication. So yun yung major challenging, but so far, it works. Important sa amin yung social media and to really communicate each of the scents. So we do it visually and copy-wise. So for example, it's not as simple as saying what the scent notes are. It's painting a picture of what they feel when they smell your product. So if you go to our social media, you will see it naman. Hope you see it. <laughs> you recognize na, okay, that's the effort pala na they talk about yakap and yakap is this and that. It has these scents, but at the same time, how or what you'll feel when you smell the yakap scent. People would buy from us even though they haven't smelled the item. It's impossible for you to know everything. Alam mo yun, a simple chat, for sure may matututunan ka. So I guess if you're in that mindset na you wanna learn, that would be enough for you to, you know, make that move and talk to someone. Kahit na 
madami kang pwedeng mapanood at mabasa. Iba pa rin if you talk to someone live, an, a real person, and then you're in the same country pa. Similar target audience. But then again, you have different brands, you have different positioning, you have different audiences, di ba? So, dapat ano, dapat open ka. Huwag mo isipin na lahat kalaban mo kasi pag nangyari yan, parang you'll just keep everything to yourself and then mahirap mag-move forward. So, I realized when I was joining bazaars, I have to join bazaars that are thematic or aligned with my branding kasi I started joining just any bazaars and then I couldn't get any sales. Parang hindi nila na-appreciate na it's handmade. So, it's when I realized na bagay pala if I choose bazaars na Filipino themed. So kunwari Yabang Pinoy, Tene Alabama Arts and Crafts Fair na you know people go there because they want to appreciate handmade items. So, so that's a learning for me na when you join bazaars, not just any bazaar, it has to be aligned with what you are as a brand. Find your niche and then make sure na yung branding mo solid. Kasi if it's just a brand na you don't stand for anything, mahihirapan kang mag-thrive. <music> enjoying what we're doing now. The question is if we will scale or not or we'll keep it as an artisanal brand. But for now, we are where we are and we are enjoying what we're doing.